Okay, in example B, what we have here is a spinner. And when this spinner is active, it can land on one of 10 places. Okay? What we want to know is what is the probability of the spinner landing on a blue first? So let me write this down. The probability, capital P, of landing on blue. How many blues are there? That's our desired outcome. That shall be on top. How many total places, total outcomes are there? Ten. Ten possible places for the spinner to land on. So there's our, pers uh, there's our fraction, ten thirds. Can I simplify that? Thank you, we're done then. Uh -uh. We've got to give our answer also as a decimal. So I need to change 3 tenths to a decimal. And I'll do that by division. 3 divided by 10. You're going to have to excuse my smart board. It gets a little slow with the spinner on this page, okay? Okay, so I'm going to add a decimal point, 0, to make it 30. 10 times 3 is 30. And here's a very common mistake students make. When dividing decimals, they forget the decimal point in the, in the quote, quotient. It belongs in front of the three. It's three tenths. So I have two out of the three answers I've got. The decimal right here. I've got the fraction to begin with. All I'm missing is my percent. And to make a percent, I take my decimal, 0.3, and I multiply it by 100. you end up with 30%. So we got all three of our answers we wanted for the probability of the blue. Now we're going to move on to the probability of the white. So this is how I write it. P parentheses white. How many whites are there? There are two white spots on my spinner out of 10 possible outcomes. So this, as a decimal, is 0.2. Ugh, man, I really wish my smart board was smarter. <laughs> and then 0.2 changed to a decimal, or to a percentage is 20%. So here are my three answers as required by the directions. The fraction, decimal, and percent. And then I want to give the probability of the spinner landing on red. So the spinner only has one of those spots that I desire. There are 10 possible places the spinner could land on. Devon, attention. So the decimal is now 1 tenth. And then as a percent, it is 10%. Here are my three answers for the probability of the red, as requested in the fraction, decimal, and percentage forms.